trading pennies for dimes. This is lesson 3.8. In chapter 4, we're going to do lots of money. One penny and one dime. One penny is one cent. A dime is 10 cents. We can trade 10 pennies for one dime. 10 pennies equals one dime. We can use coins, pennies, and dimes to write ones and tens. So here we have some pennies. We have 10, 20, 1. We have 21 pennies. It's the same thing as two dimes and a penny. They're equal. That's two tens and one one. That would be 21 cents. Here we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pennies and it's equal to one dime and six pennies. That's one ten and six ones. That would be 16 cents. Look at all these pennies. On this side, we have 48 pennies. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. That's 48 pennies. It's equal to four dimes and eight pennies. That's 48 cents. We have four tens, one, two, three, four, and eight ones. That's four tens and eight ones, 48 cents. Here we have one dime and 28 pennies. We've got 10 pennies, 20 pennies, and 8 pennies. That's 28 pennies. We have one dime. That's 110 and 28 ones. We can regroup them to be 3 dimes and 8 pennies. We can trade that for a dime and that for a dime and have 8 pennies left over. See? Here we have two dimes and 14 pennies. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pennies. We can trade in these 10 pennies for a dime and have three dimes and four pennies. So every time we get 10 pennies, we can trade it for a dime, for a 10. So let's see if we can circle the correct number like we did in the last video. We have seven tens and three ones. Is it this number or this number? Well, we know the seven is in the tens place, and that's the tens place right here, isn't it? And that's the ones place? So if you said this one, you're right. How about this one? Five tens and nine ones. Is it this number or this number? Well, there's a five in the tens place, so it would be that one, wouldn't it? That's got five tens and nine ones. How about this one? Be careful. It says eight ones and six tens. Oh, these are in a different order, aren't they? Well, we know there's a six in the tens place. So, which number has a six in the tens place? If you said this one, you're correct. It's this one. So we can trade pennies to be a dime. We can take 10 pennies and turn them into a dime. We can take another 10 pennies and turn it into another dime. Every time we get 10 pennies, we trade it to a dime, and that gives us more dimes and less pennies. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next video.
Bye.